Hello everybody, welcome to part 25 of my Dark Cloud walkthrough, and here we are right in front of the Divining House, I believe is what this is called. What, what's, blah, blah, blah. That's what this is called, anyways. Let's go ahead and enter it. I haven't recorded in a uh, hot minute, it's been a while. Um, for me and Lefum, actually, to record anything. Um, but hopefully, I can start again and uh, get on with this channel. Uh, oh, it's you, look at this. My Divining House has been completely restored. And I owe it all to you, young man. I'll tell you your fortune for free of charge. Come visit me anytime. Alright, we're about to do that right now, actually. Ooh, I needed that too, actually, as well. Yeah, I haven't played this game in a while. Um, I've been playing Breath of the Wild. And that game's pretty great. Some cheese, I'll do anyway, need that as well. Oh, you're back, and what part of your fortune do you want me to tell you? Where is the moon orb? Well, let us begin. Are you ready? Hell yeah, I'm ready. And she sits on your face. <laughs> pumpkin panty fortune telling, here we go. So does that mean that she's wearing pumpkin colored panties, or like a pumpkin as a panty? Like, what does that mean? I think this is Lana's shop, where she's the fruit person. Oh, that's a fruit merchant, looking strangely at some sort of, some kind of ball. Hmm, carrying it away somewhere. Oops, that's it. That's all you got, woman? Loading time needs to be. There, that's it. She was tired, wasn't she? Okay, I think we have one more, then we can head on to the cathedral. Oh, you're back. What part of you went to blah, blah, blah? Where is the dark, dark genie now? I'm gonna, of course, she's going to sit on my face again. Sit on my face again. We'll let us begin. Are you ready? This time I'm prepared. Yeah, I think this is the first time that Note gets to see the dark genie. In, well, actually... I'm not sure if he's seen it then uh, in this village. I can't remember too much. Oh, there it is. It's this is some sort of castle. It looks like some kind of giant haunted house. And that is the final dungeon, I believe, in the game. Is this who they call Dark Genie? He's pretty arrogant. Oh, who's this? Looks like he's saying something. Oh, what a huge neon. Oh, he got up. Scratch his booty now. The guy is talking, planning to destroy another town. Huh? That's all? Darji knew. He's like, what the fuck? All right, so now that we know where the Dark Genie is, so I know that Note knows where they are, he is. All right, so that was kind of needed to, to see, you know, we kind of needed to do that. Um, obviously now we know where the moon orb is, or at least kind of know where it is. So we have to talk to Lana most likely a little bit later on. I probably end up doing that in part 26 when we um, make this city completely 100%. We have Jeff. What are you? What's your name again? Oh, you were Note. I have been waiting for you. Thanks to you, this legendary cathedral is back to the way it was back in the old days, days of old. Thank you very much. This is a little something I had to show my appreciation. If I can be of any help, don't hesitate to ask. Now we have the holy gem. Okay, so real fast. Uh, well, let's see what happens here. By the way, note. Have you heard the story of the curse on this on this cathedral? For a hundred years, we didn't have any weddings in this cathedral. And queens, nobody wants to have a wedding here. It is because any couples who had their wedding here always end up separating. 
That is the curse cast over this cathedral. And now we have a cutscene. This is a story my grandfather told me. 100 years ago, this town was a, ki a kingdom ruled by a queen called Lysiah. I think that's what her name is. Lysiah was only 18 when she ascended to the throne. The people all trusted her and revered her as a great ruler. This is to say nothing of her beauty, which words cannot describe. Well, that's why I figured. The radiance of her smile made all around her happy. Then one day, she fell in love with a young man in town. The queen and a commoner, it was only after the town was asleep in the night that they could meet. The two hid their love from the world for a long time. Finally, they decided to have a wedding ceremony. Yes, in this very church, deep in the night, where all were, all were asleep. But on that night, the groom did not appear, as, he pro as was promised. Dressed in white, she continued to wait, believing he'd come. Night after night, she continued to wait, but her love never came. The loss of her loved one was too much to bear, when one night, she threw herself in the ocean. I always thought bear was B-A-R-E, not like bear to arms, obviously, but this version of bear too, but I guess not. That's when the curse began. Since then, all couples that married at this church eventually ended up leaving together. What do you think? Isn't it sad? Nobody, now nobody even visits the cathedral. But I will keep protecting the cathedral. Someday this curse will be lifted as, and many loving couples will swear that their internal lover will, wait, what? will swear their internal lover here. I think, mean, I think they mean love, obviously, but I don't know what they were thinking over there. Until that day. Now, Mr. Note, please excuse me today. Today? I don't remember this. If you are interested in queens, why don't you visit the Divining House? I already did. They didn't tell me nothing. Well, let's let's try one more time. I think, I think, um, if we did this, we go back to her and she has another, um, vi you know, vision or whatever. I'm pretty sure that's, that's how it was. I attempted to record this before and I, I fought the Ice Queen and I sucked hardcore. Um, well, that's who we are going to be fighting. Can you tell my fortune? How about, uh... Well, let us begin. Are you ready? Yeah, that's amazing. That's awesome. Hmm, I've seen this before. Ah, that's right. It's Ron Rando's shop. Rondo, whatever his name is. Rando's store, not shop. It wasn't Randa who eloped with the queen, was it? No, that's impossible. It was 100 years ago. Well, obviously, he couldn't be that old. Something's glowing. What is it? There, that's it. Okay. All right, so obviously now we can go to her, but as I was saying, I recorded this before, tried to anyways, and I fought the Ice Queen and I was murdered. Um, I, I yeah, it was not good. Oh God. Um, but my, t um, hopefully I can beat her this time. Um, I'm gonna try a different tactic, and, and the Ice Queen usually is a very hard boss, for me anyways. I don't know how many other people have problems with her, but um, Every time I fought her in my youth, and you know, obviously now, I have always had a trouble with her because um, because of her, you know, abilities. I think she's the only boss in the game that I've really, really hated. Um, very soon I'm going to set up as well. Um, probably take off the waters or something of that sort. Now that we have 80 item slots, will be nice. I probably I'll probably buy some more food before I go into there as well. Buy some more food. I'm going to probably end up saving this time around because I didn't save last time. Thinking that uh, I was going to beat her my first try, but... Uh, oh, I was spanked. 
Alright, so here we have probably another cutscene. What are you gonna do? You're gonna put this paper in this music box, then lock it? This box is our promise to each other. You keep the music box, and I keep the key. It takes both of us to open this music box, and without us both, we can't read the message inside. What did you write? Ah, that's a secret. When we finally join as one forever, that's when we will open it once again. Alright, so I'm pretty sure it's got the key. That is one huge key, but okay. Uh, let me see here. Can I read this diary right here or whatever this is? No, I can't. It's just for show, apparently. Okay, um... But yeah, when we get into the fight with her, I will definitely go into, um... I will try to go into depth about the fight. And hopefully help whoever, you know, needs help with this fight. Because, uh... <laughs> it can be a doozy. Especially if you don't understand her, her abilities. Alright, everybody. So I just covered it there. And, uh... I tried fighting her the second time around, and that did not work. Uh, so I decided to just go ahead and... Um, I'm going to make Queens 100% and uh, then fight her in part 26. Um, I don't. I need to look up how to beat her some more and, uh, you know, just find a better way to beat her, I guess. I'm not sure what to do yet. Uh, somebody suggested just buy a bunch of bombs, and I can't afford that. But, um, but I will go ahead and set this up 100%, and then I will cut to myself, uh, obviously, you know, showing it off. So, I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright guys, so I just covered it there, and hopefully I got this done. And yeah, I just, I just did. As you can tell, I'll show up, of course, the loadout uh, in just a second after we figure out what happens after this. Uh, my, this time around, it's not 100%, but uh, you can kind of work out with it. You know, you can kind of work around with it. Uh, it's just more of a um, preference type of thing, I guess. Because Queens is a little bit bigger than, uh, than I might think. I know, you done it. The sheriff is waiting for you. Ah, note. Thanks for stopping by. Not only did you restore the town of Queens, but you even made it better by accommodating people's requests. Oh my god. Accommodating. There we go. I don't know how to thank you. Hmm, I should reward you. I, blah, I should reward you with something. Nah, bro, I'm good. Let's see. These days, it's gotten dangerous. I think you need a powerful weapon. Oh, okay. Yep. Ah, here it is. Please accept, uh, please accept this. The macho sword, I think is what it's called. Yep. Originally, it was meant as a birthday present for my nephew in Norwin Village. But he sent it back saying a man should fight with his own hands and not with his weapons. Not with weapons. It's no good just sitting here. I'd rather have you use it. It's special, so take good care of it. I probably end up using that, but I'm not sure yet. I don't remember the loadout. I don't, I don't remember you know, the weapons, uh, um, you know, evolution or whatever. Okay, so starting from the left side, this is of course going towards the ocean. We have Rudy's shop, Joker's house, and then we have the um, leading tower in the cathedral right here. Then we have Susie's store right here, the fountain, uh, the Basker store, and then Jack's house. Yeah, okay. And then we have over here, we have the Divining House, Sheriff's office, King's hideout, and then we have Lana store. Of course, like I said before, you can move the trees, the road. I'm not really sure about the road. I think he might need the road for whatever reason. But um, you know, the trees obviously. I don't know if they're you know particular about where they want to be. But um, this is what I did, anyways. But uh, next video, of course, we'll be doing the boss. Finally, I'm hoping we can do the boss. Um, I've been dreading this part for a good while now, but. Uh, I'll do some more research on it. Hopefully, I can beat her in the next video, like I said before. Even I, even if I have to use bombs just to beat her. Um, I don't know how much health she has, so I'm going to do a lot of research, and then I'm going to eventually record part 26. I do apologize for not posting a video, and pff, I'm not even sure how long, actually. Hopefully, I can get back into the, you know, the recording uh, phase and just uh, 
start spurting out videos for hopefully a week four videos a week like i've been doing before but um thanks for watching guys and like and subscribe if you like this video and stay tuned for part 26 of course like i said before finally beating the ice queen hopefully anyways and then we can uh really get back into this game and uh and start playing it again so stay tuned for that and uh like i said before thanks for watching guys